Okay guys, I'm going to make a video here on how I safely clean my Red Cat Dune Runner. Uh, first thing I do is I'll go ahead and wrap up the air filter with a, in a plastic baggie of some sort. Make sure you get it around the filter. But I do like to clean up around in there real well, you know, get it good and clean, get all the dirt out of there. Um, other than that, everything else is waterproof. Servos are waterproof. And I waterproof the box. So, I have this... Uh, steam cleaner that I use here. This thing works rather well. So if we're going to go ahead and pre-soak it with some, uh, this is just simple green, um, mixed with some water. And uh, we'll go ahead and pre-soak it with this. Get all up in there, you know. Now this was ran at the beach the other day, so it's got some nastiness up in there you know all the stuff you don't want on your rig <clears throat> now i got the gear cover and everything off too it made sure there's no more sand up in there this stuff seems to work pretty well actually a soap solution of the simple green and water I spray everything with it. It's not going to hurt nothing. Now you got the excess sand. You want to go ahead and try to get out of there. I also used compressed air on that. After I'm done here, you'll see. As soon as I'm done with all this, give it a good pre soak. Let it soak a few seconds and then start hitting it with that steamer. That thing really works well if you guys don't have one. I actually got that at the uh, thrift shop for I think eight dollars it was. Sometimes you got to keep your eyes open not only for RCs but look for stuff you can use for RCs there. Yeah, you know, I, I do hose this thing off sometimes. Like if it's real bad, I'll hose it off. But I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I know a lot of guys do, but I personally do not. Like I said, if it's muddy, yeah, I'm not going to sit there and do this to it. But this is the safer bet, in my opinion. I've got a minute here, and I'll fire that, <coughs> that uh, steam cleaner off. The thing really works well. You'll be surprised. Okay, guys, let's get going with the steam cleaner. Okay, this is the what the Scunsy steamer it's called. Like I said, I got it for eight bucks. <laughs> Couldn't pass it up price. Go and give it a whirl. Most part, this gets in there pretty good. I got a little, you know, nylon brush on the end of it. Seems like it works well. I'm ready to tell it's cleaner just by looking at it. <clears throat> It's done in there pretty good, man. I can get pretty good with this. somewhere here it looks like it's getting pretty clean now it's getting a lot of heavy oil off of the you know the 
tubes and stuff. No matter what, that vent's going to leak. It always does, but it's getting all that oil residue off it, Sam. So, watch. Keep on going. This thing looks great. Yeah, take your time with it. That's a, no big hurry, right? Thing. Look at this pretty well to me. Like I said, then I hit it with compressed air afterwards. And <clears throat> almost comes out like brand new. That sand crap out of there, get the jet fur real good. I don't know about you guys, but I'll put a coat of wax on that jet fur. Keep a nice shine on her. Even though I do bash this thing, I still like to keep it clean. Now I feel I'm done with this. I use what they call move, this uh, move slick RC. Uh, it, it stuff is great. Um, what is it? MoveRC.com makes it. It it just makes it look like a brand new RC. You'll see as soon as I'm done here. <clears throat> Thing. It looks like we pretty much got everything now. Let me go over a little better, I guess. Okay, guys, now let's get our compressed air. Pretty good, huh, guys? Put some nastiness on in there.
<clears throat> then you'll see spots you missed. Go ahead and get your, your stammer and go back over it. That's no, yeah. It's all trial and error. So you see what you missed and see what you didn't. And the shock needs some. I mean, it doesn't melt the shock uh, covers either, which is nice. Guys, we got that sucker pretty clean. You know, it only took five minutes or so. No, don't get me wrong, probably gonna have to hit it with a little toothbrush. Get down in there, you know, put a little polish on that turtle racing uh, clutch housing and polish up the, the the jet pro pipe and stuff. But you know, just a quick overall getting it clean. It looks pretty darn good now. Give all the, all the gears a good lube job and boom, it's ready to go. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. This is my Red Cat Den Runner, by the way. Uh, I have many videos of it running and whatever else. If you'd like to watch, please watch and uh, subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.